Good morning, Internet. Another beautiful day. We're, we've been lucky the last few days. We did have a little wind and coolness on Saturday. But uh, it's uh, just been nice on uh, Monday and Tuesday. So, and we're going to get some busy sugar day today. So I can make some kind of cookies. Okay, let's get on our way. Well, a very tragic uh, story. I just heard over the news a dog walker in Langley, British Columbia uh, was discovered to have six missing dogs in his, uh, I don't know if they were in his truck or somewhere in, around him. Anyhow, he had claimed they were missing, but they died of heat stroke in the back of his truck. So, people. If you have dogs or children, don't leave them in a vehicle in the hot sun. Please don't do that. Those poor tragic dogs just just makes me feel so sad to think of what they went through. People who mistreat animals or children should really be looked after properly by the courts. You know what I uh, just heard? A dog walker in Langley uh, was found to have six missing dogs. They died in the back of his truck from heat stroke. Can you imagine that? I wonder how you could get the message across to prevent such thoughtless behavior. Well, they shouldn't have the leaders closed. No, they sure shouldn't. So, you ready to go? Yes. So, people are concerned here because there are dogs in this uh, van and the windows are not uh, adequately open. At least that's what we feel. Uh, and after that terrible tragedy in Langley a few days ago where six dogs were uh, died of heat stroke in a van, uh, we, everybody's attention is focused on this. There's one little guy right here. Now that is open, but it's a very small opening. We'll just take a look around the other side. Not very good advertising for their business, I guess. So it's, it is open on both sides. And the front window is open on both sides. I think the dogs in the van are okay. It's not that hot out and it is slightly overcast, not fully overcast. However, I'm going to keep my eye on that van, and if it starts getting warm, I'm going to I'm going to make sure some authority is called. However, at the moment, I don't think there's a problem. There is a window open on each side, so I don't want to make an issue out of it uh, unless uh, it gets a little hotter. Well, I'm at uh, Value Village, and uh, I came here because I need a little camera piece that could go over the shoulder. Uh, to carry a camera that's a little bit too big to go in my pocket. And I thought, well, I'll just try this small camera case that goes over my shoulder. And I didn't want to pay a whole lot of money, so that's what I came here. And I found two, one for two dollars and one for four dollars. So I'll check them out. I'll show them to you in a minute. Here are the uh, two camera cases I uh, picked out at uh, Value Village. Um, and this one is a uh, dollar ninety nine, and this one is three ninety nine. Now, the thing is, is I want to put uh, put them on my body with that camera. So here's the case for a dollar ninety nine, and it's, it fits on my hip. Uh, it has a a belt which uh, fastens very quickly and easily. The camera barely fits in it. 
What I don't like about it is it's a zipper closed, so I gotta undo the zipper to take the camera out. So I'm not sure about that. But anyhow, we'll see how the other one works. Well, case number two, the camera won't fit properly. So it's out, and it also has a zipper closed, so it really wasn't quite what I was looking for. Case number one should do the job. And uh, if I find I can get along with that system, well, two things are going to happen. Either I'm going to find I can or cannot get along with that system, and the other thing is I will pick up uh, a better quality point-and-shoot or a small camcorder that can fit in my pocket. So I guess uh, the reason I like using the cell phone for a camera is because it's the one I have with me and the best camera to use is the one you have with you. Uh, however, if you have two with you, well, pick the best of the two, I guess. Uh, the other thing is, pick the one that's not going to run out of battery and that isn't going to fill up the, uh, car the SD card or whatever that you have room It'll be in interesting to see how I get on using this camera. It's got good image quality and uh, better in low light than some uh, cameras I have. I hope I like it. I hope this is a solution that'll last me for at least a month. You just never know with me. I'm all over the place. Well, internet is just about 11, and uh, I've got a market in the morning. Got to get up at uh, 4.30 or 5, so I'm off to bed. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you'll comment below, and we'll see you later.